Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are going to finish up the 2023 top 10s in the 160 pound middleweight division as we're going to look at my number one middleweight in the world right now, the undefeated WBO IBF unified middleweight champion of the world, Janabek Alaman Halai or Kazakh style as he, um, as everybody calls him. Now, and we're also going to take a look at the state of the 160 pound middleweight division going forward. Now, before we get into all that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, Janabek entered the year um, as the WBO middleweight champ, and he was ranked number four. Um, and just like last year, he was looking for somebody that actually wanted to fight. And after not being able to get a, a good big name opponent in the ring, because he was even trying to get um, uh, Liam Smith uh, in a mandatory fight, but Smith had an automatic rematch clause with Chris Eubank. Uh, excuse me, after not being able to land that, excuse me again, he decided to stay busy. And in June, he would fight veteran, former world title challenger, Stephen Butler from Canada. And he would absolutely dominate Stephen Butler. I think putting him down three times and route to a second round knockout victory as he retained his WBO title. Then he got a huge opportunity in October to unify belts when he would square off against um, newly crowned and undefeated IBF middleweight champion Vicente Gualtieri. And um, it was quiet, but it was it was destructive. He went in there and absolutely destroyed Gualtieri, stopping him in only six rounds as he unified middleweight belts and left no doubt who the best fighter at 160 pounds was. It was a big win. Um, following that win, he would, um, you know, he would try to get, again, he would try to get somebody to want to fight him. But, um, you know, nobody seems to be interested. But towards the end of the year, Chris Eubank said that his manager, after the Conor Ben fight fell through for Eubank again, he said his manager was trying to get him to fight some soft touch opponent. And Eubank got pissed off and said he wanted to fight Janabek. Janabek's people right away um, responded and said, let's make the fight happen. <laughs> and it would be a, a mandatory fight because Eubank's number one ranked contender. So Janabek really is in a position right now to, to make a mandatory defense. Um, and I'm hoping he gets Chris Eubank or Liam Smith to sign on the dotted line, you know, and fight him because he needs that bigger name on his resume. But also Janabek needs to really start looking at it. Like if you can't get the bigger names, go make your mandatories and get them out of the way. And I say fight the next available contender in his wake and in, in whatever governing body he can and just walk through guys. Even if you got to fight three times in the year, continue to walk through guys and blow them out of the water and hold on to that unified middleweight title. And I guarantee you guys are eventually going to want to fight John Abek Alamanhalai. But who knows? You know, he's uh, they've stayed away from him, but one guy who seems to be returning to middleweight is Demetrius Andre. And now that Andre has lost, he might sign on the dotted line for a showdown with, with John Abek to become the unified middleweight champ. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens, but I do think John Abek is going to get some kind of a bigger opportunity in 2024. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does and who he fights um, and who has the balls to take him on. So, that's it. That's what I got um, on Janabek, my number one middleweight in the world. Oh, well, real quick, overall, um, he is 15 and 0 with, I believe, 10 knockouts. And um, he, I believe, Janabek will finish absolutely in the top 10, absolutely in the top five. And I think he will hold on to his top spot, at least for the time being. At the very least though, I, I think he finishes like top three at the worst. So 
We'll see though. John Abick has a lot to prove, but guys have to want to fight him. Now the state of the middleweight division is, this division is just blood dry. It really needs a shot in the arm. It really needs fighters to fight and want to fight. Um, and right now it does not have that. <laughs> but I believe that we're turning over a new leaf at middleweight this year. We might not have huge, huge matchups, but I think we're gonna have some good solid matchups more than the year before, more than the two years before, or three. And I believe um, we're also gonna have some young blood making a move in this division, most notably Elijah Garcia and Austin Williams. You know, I think these guys need to realize they have to fight each other to make moves and get in line um, for these older guys or these guys that think they're too good and they don't want to fight. That's how we eventually end up at a unified or undisputed champ. But I think moves are going to be made. I think we're on a, the middleweight division is going to get straight this year. And I'm hoping it's much better than the, than the previous couple years. But with Janovic now as a unified champion, it really makes people focus on one guy more and you can't avoid a unified champion for very long. You just can't. So I think him unifying those belts really was the first step towards many in the middleweight division, towards getting this division back because the middleweight division is such a storied, rich history at middleweight and it's really depleted, but I think it's on the comeback trail. So I hope that's it and I hope that's true. And that's it. That's my 2023 top 10s. Um, as I finished up my the 160 pound middleweight division, talking about my number one middleweight in the world, the undefeated and unified middleweight champion, Jonabek Alaman Halai, Kazakh style. And this was the state of the 160 pound division going forward. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.